Hey, this is Jason with Baguette Bound. Uh, today we're talking French visas. In this video, we're going to cover the appointment process. For French visas, you have to fill out a form online in order to, to finish the French visa application. Uh, but there's a separate process for setting up an appointment to meet with the officials who will receive all of your documents, process your paperwork, and determine whether or not your visa application is accepted. For us at the time, I think the visa application appointment, so the appointment process, was more difficult uh, and a little more confusing than the actual application. Um, so we'll share a few things that we learned along the way and go through the process of setting up an appointment for yourself. Okay, let's go take a look. Okay, we are ready to go. So today we're talking about the French visa appointments. We're going to talk about kind of what to expect from an appointment process and then look at the website and go ahead and go through the process of actually booking an appointment so you're comfortable and familiar with what that process is. First of all, what is this visa appointment? So France contracts with a company called VFS Global. Uh, VFS Global is a third party. They do all of the administrative aspects of the visa application. Um, so in order to in order to go to one of these appointments, you will be going to a VFS Global building, a center. You will not be going to the French embassy or French consulate to do this. And VFS Global is really, they're there for administrative purposes. They're there to take your papers. They're there to make sure your file is complete. They're there to send it off. Uh, they're not going to be giving you any kind of advice or suggestions or really any help in putting your, your application together, your visa paperwork together. Um, there's no interview in this appointment. You're really just handing over paperwork. So you need to come prepared. Uh, when you fill out the application, you'll get a list of supporting documents. So here's an example of mine, previous one that I filled out. So you just want to come with all this. And for every person that has an appointment, you need your own separate pack of paper, your, all your own separate support. So you may be using the same documentation for multiple applications, but you need to have separate copies for each application. So treat each application separately. Um, if you've got financial support, if you've got a, a hotel receipt, if you've got a letter explaining something, if you've got copies of your IDs, uh, have a copy for every person that's applying. Um, Bring all your originals and copies of those originals. Um, be ready to, to give them whatever they ask for. Um, do be aware that when you go to this appointment, in the pack of paper that you're going to have to turn over is going to be your original passport. If you do get a visa, it will be affixed to your passport. So you are going to have to turn in your passport, give it over to the, the VFS Global administrators who will transmit it to the, the French embassy, and they'll send it back to you. That may take three to five weeks. So whenever you schedule this appointment, you're going to be, your passport will be out of pocket for those three to five weeks, depending on how long it takes them um, to transport that. When we did our appointment a few years ago, there was a gentleman there uh, in line ahead of us who was meeting with the, the VFS officials. Uh, he was sending all of his information in when they got to the end and they asked him for his passport. He refused. He said he needed his passport. He was going on a trip. He had something scheduled in the next few weeks. And he asked them what they could do for him so that he could keep his passport. And they couldn't help him at all. They they tried to explain, um, this is a requirement. Um, it's necessary. There's no other option. We can't complete the paperwork without your, your passport. He left uh, kind of frustrated. I don't know what he ended up doing, but he certainly didn't finish his application that day. So just be aware. So the application, the, the appointment itself, I can only speak to the, the office in, we went to the office in Los Angeles, the VFS Global office in Los Angeles. It was a perfectly ordinary, uh, small building. You know, once you complete the appointment setting process, you get a, a receipt with a QR code on it with your appointment time. Um, so you bring that piece of paper with the QR code, they can scan it. You come in, there's a waiting room, um, and kind of in the waiting room, there's there was several kind of desks where the VFS Global staff would sit with each individual um, as it was their turn to do their application. They would treat each application individually. So for us, there was three of us, me, my wife, and my daughter, all had appointments on the same day. 
but we did go individually. So I went first and did all of my documents. My wife went second, did all of her documents, and we kind of traded traded off one of us sitting in the in the waiting room while the other person went. In my daughter's case, uh, she's under age at the time. She was 11. Um, I read that she wasn't even required to be there, but she did come along with us. Um, but she was not required to really e to even be there. They they didn't ask her any questions. She didn't go up there. I turned in all of the documents on her behalf while she was sitting in the waiting room with my wife. So there was nothing for her to do there. Uh, I was able to accomplish all the tasks for her turning in all of her documents. Um, you know, and as I said earlier, the appointment itself is pretty simple. Uh, I've got my, my list here of my supporting documents that I need to have. The VFS Global Administrator is going to have this same list of documents for your type of visa. And you're just going to hand them over. Um, they'll go one by one. Do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? And you keep giving them the documents. They'll look at it. They'll make sure it's it looks like the right thing. Um, they won't give you any advice, right? Some of these you might have to write a like a business plan or a description or write a letter explaining something. They're not going to offer any suggestions or advice on how best to do that. They're just going to take what you've done. Um, so you got to be ready once you're there. Um, it, it, the appointment didn't take long. Uh, they will take your, we signed up to have our picture taken. So they had picture camera in the office that they took our picture with. They did our fingerprints um, as well in the same room with the camera. Um, so it was short for the three of us. We were there for probably a little over an hour. Uh, most of that time just waiting to be called on. The actual transmitting paper w was pretty quick. And we were in and out of there. Uh, for us, it took um, about four, four plus weeks after we had our appointment before we got our materials returned to us. Um, we were going to, we were living in Denver at the time. We went to the LA office, so we had our documents mailed back to us. That's a service you can subscribe for and pay for, and um, you'll they'll have a uh, a mailing envelope that you can fill out and put your address on so that they can send all of your documentation back to you. If you're living in the location with one of these VFS Global Centers, you don't have to sign up and pay for the, the mailing service. Uh, you can go back to the VFS Global Office to pick up your documents once they've returned. As long as you provide them with a good phone number and email address, you'll get notifications letting you know uh, what's happening with your application. So I think we got a, a message when the application had been submitted and sent from the LA office to the French Embassy in Washington. So we knew that it had arrived at the French Embassy and it was being processed. Uh, we got another alert when it was completed and being sent back from the French Embassy back to the LA office. Uh, at that time, we didn't know. They didn't give us any indication whether it had been accepted, rejected. So we didn't know the actual status of the visa uh, until we got it in the mail and opened it up. Um, but we at least did know where everything was, uh, or at least what stage it was in. So uh, that's the appointment and what to expect. Let's go ahead and take a look at the website and go through the, the process of booking an appointment. Uh, so starting on the French visa website, francevisas.gov.fr, we'll put these links in the, in the description below. It shows you, you know, to contact for an appointment, you're going to contact VFS Global, and it shows you all the VFS Global offices. Um, here on this site, I'm looking at submitting an application from the United States, showing it's showing me all the VFS centers in the US of A. Um, when you did the application, you would have selected what city you were going to submit your application from. So you've already selected one of these offices that you'll be attending for your appointment. Uh, so we can move forward now. We'll go to the VFS site. So vfsglobal.com. Again, this is VFS Global's the third party that does all of the, the administrative aspects of the visa. Um, they will be who you will be contacting and be in touch with to complete your application. Um, so I've selected that I'm coming from the United States and I'm going to France. VFS Global does this for lots of countries, lots of different visa centers. Um, so just make sure you're choosing the right one. I believe at the office in LA, uh, there were people going all over the world, several people going to France at the same time we were, but there were lots of different um, visa applications that were being done, kind of countries all over Europe really at the same time. So, so we go here. 
Um, so the VFS Global, so from the US to France, now it's showing me, it's giving me links to apply for a visa. If you haven't already done that, it'll send you back to the French visa website to do your application. Um, here, find a center. This again, this shows you all the information on all the, the different office locations, their hours, their email addresses. Visa at your doorstep is a service that VFS Global offers. They will come to you. If you don't want to come to them, they'll come to you to do, to pick up all your paperwork, to take your picture, to take your thumbprint. Uh, it's expensive. So it's something you need to look at very closely um, and figure out if you wanted to do this. We certainly, we had to travel uh, to get to VFS Global. We thought it was better for us to go on a vacation and take a trip somewhere than paying them to come to us. Uh, but we're ready to book an appointment. And again, they give you the option to apply from home down here. They ask if you've not yet filled in an application form. They want you to do that first, and they'll send you back to the, the French Visa website. But if you've already filled out your application, um, and even if you haven't, you can still move forward on the appointment portal. So VFS Global is a separate website. You need a separate login account. Um, so if you haven't created an account, you have to start one. Make sure you use an email address that you can get email to because they will be sending you notifications. Uh, so we're signed in. Uh, if we had already booked an appointment, we would see it here. Um, we have not, so we're going to start a new booking appointment. And so it gives us all the centers in our country. Uh, we've chosen the United States already, so it's showing me all the different VFS offices. And you, when you've done the application, you would have already chosen the application center that you'd be submitting your document, so make sure you choose the same one here. Uh, in the application that I filled out the other day, I chose Atlanta, so I'm gonna go with Atlanta. This is for a long stay visa long stay visa. Uh, it shows you the earliest available slots. Um, so we've got, you know, January 23rd for one applicant and January 24th for two applicants. Uh, on this site, as well as a lot of other sites um, related to the French government or French processes, you are going to see the dates in the format of day, then month, then year. Um, so just be aware of that, that you're seeing the day first. Um, Depending on the combination of days and months, it can be confusing which one you're looking at, but that is the format on the VFS Global site. Day first, then month, then year. So we'll jump into the portal. Um, the first you come across, the first data that they want is your registration number from your visa. Um, it, it does show you the kind of the format here it starts with FRA and then you need a number of digits afterwards. If you type in those number of digits, you can move forward. You can't actually process it, but you can get to the next screen if you want to. But we've already done an application, so we'll come back to this application that we've filled out. And we can enter in a registration number. Okay, so we've entered all of our personal information in. Um, before you move forward, if you have multiple applicants, you're gonna need to add them here. So you've got the option to select meeting times um, on the next screen. So the number of people that are applying for a visa, you need independent appointments for everyone. Um, so I'm doing this as one applicant, just for myself. When I did this in the past, uh, a few years ago for our family, there was me, my wife, and my daughter. So we had three applicants. I had to keep adding them in here. Um, we won't do that here. We'll just continue onto the appointment choosing screen. So it brings up a, a calendar. And down below, you can see all the available times. Uh, the loading more is grayed out, so there's no additional times on January 23rd. We could look out at it a day in the future, we'll see if there's more times available. So looking at January 31st, I can load more, and it shows me everything that's out there. Um, so times at 10, 12, 15, 1, 145, and 215. 
um, it does give you the option to select prime time. Um, prime time is just hours, uh, meeting hours outside of the normal uh, meeting hours. So you might be able to select the first appointment of the day or the last appointment of the day. They will charge you an additional fee for that. Here it shows it's $50 extra to grab this first prime time meeting. So depending on your schedule, that may be worth it to you. But I'll select the 10 o'clock time and move forward. Uh, it gives me the option to choose additional services. You know, it highlights prime time as an exclusive opening hours, up to you. Uh, the courier service, as I mentioned earlier, is a way to get documents mailed back to you. So if you're not local to the VFS Global site, um, that's going to be really useful. You'll be able to give them a self-addressed envelope and they'll send it back to you. The photographer service, they'll take your picture on site. You don't have to opt for this. You can bring your own photographs. Make sure you check this specific uh, format and style of photos that you need. The French Visa application site does have the, the like specific requirements for what your photo needs to look like. And photocopy services if you need it. It's best to come prepared. Make all the copies you think you're going to need. Uh, so it shows me in my summary, and it shows me this is going to cost me a $28 fee. Um, again, if you had more than one person, you'd be paying $28 a person for an appointment, plus any services that you've added on. And that's it. You move forward to the payment page, and you're done. It is a very simple process. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty when we were doing it. Uh, we weren't sure really what to expect, how to go through this. Uh, do you know that you can come through this appointment process that we just looked at? You can go through it, and as long as you stop short of the uh, the payment page and don't pay for it, you can just back out and kind of get rid of that appointment schedule. So we had a lot of difficulty figuring out what times were available since we were going to have to travel from the Denver area to L.A. Uh, we had to arrange hotels and flights and cars and all that. Um, so that did cause us a little bit of stress not knowing uh, I didn't want to go too far and be locked into anything, yeah, but that's something you don't need to worry about. You can go through the appointment setting process um, as long as you don't finalize it and pay for it, and you can always back out. But that way you can see what times are available um, at the appointment setter if you need to. So I hope that was useful. If you have any questions or thoughts or comments, please leave them in the, the comments down below and we'll take a look. Okay, have a great day. Take care. Abiento.